Well everyone, it's time for us to go and take a look at the Samsung Galaxy S22, actually S23, and compare it against the Samsung Galaxy S21 and see which specific phone you should go and pick up. Now I will leave both these links down in the description, you can get them from there and you can help support the channel at the same time. Now what's very funny about both these phones is that on the front there's actually a lot of similarity, which is totally okay. When you get a newer phone like the S23, there's less and less you know, phone manufacturers like Samsung can do since their phones are already so good. So keep that in mind, this phone is the latest one, but the Galaxy S21 did come out in 2021. And when this phone came out, it was definitely kind of controversial if I'm being honest, but I think it was a good phone. I think it's aged okay, especially with the S22 being a little bit better than this thing. But I like the front of this phone, 6.1 inch dynamic AMOLED display. It was a 1080p panel, but you were still maintaining that 120 hertz. It was a flat display as well. But overall, I still look at this display and I think it's very good. And there's really not too much to complain about here. You know, it still holds up very, very well for, you know, about two years later. The Galaxy S23, I would say it's kind of more or less the same. You know, I would say that it's a better display overall just because it's the newer one. But I still look at this phone and I still think it's very similar to the S21. Now, it's the whole punch display as well. You're still getting that dynamic AMOLED display, same size kind of. It's also six point, It's also, you know, 120 hertz as well, which is really nice. So overall, when I look at this display and I look at the S21, I mean, there's definitely not too many differences, but I would probably say, who cares? Like the S22 is probably, the S23 is probably the better display. I don't know why I keep calling the S22. Now on the size of this phone, what's kind of interesting is they both kind of have the same type of styling, but the S23 is a little bit more, I guess, flat. So you can kind of see the S21, it seems like a bigger phone overall as well, but it's the same screen size. But also you could see that it kind of curved at the edge right up here, and then it was kind of flat. With the S23, it was kind of flat all throughout. So I kind of like that on the S23, but I like the S21 as well, like there wasn't that big of a deal here. However, the back, it was, I mean, both these phones kind of changed up some things here and there for both generations. So with the S21, we had this triple camera set up up here, but we had a frosted plastic back. With the S23, we have the camera modules that are sunk in, so it's like a flat back, which I like, but it's a frosted glass back. So some things to keep in mind, I didn't like the plastic back on this thing. It's kind of grown on me, I guess it's okay now, but I did like the camera module in the top left corner. When I took a look at some of the older phones that Samsung made, like the S20, I didn't like the design of that phone on the back, but I liked the S21 design, but I didn't like the plastic back. The S22, I think, was perfect. This phone, I think, is good. I don't know, I think it's going to grow on me too, but you know, it looks cool and everything, but I do kind of like how there was like a little camera module, that way it did kind of protect the camera lenses a little bit, but beyond that I guess it's not a big deal. There's nothing really left on the back side or bottom, both these phones do not have micro SD cards less either, but they both have wireless charging, reverse wireless charging, IP certification, they still have a lot of features that you know kind of overlap between them. So in terms of that, that kind of covers it up there. Now in terms of the software and the longevity portion, this is probably going to be the one area where the S23 is definitely going to outbeat the S21. I mean the S21 still is going to be supported for probably another year, probably two years I think. The S20 is still supported. I would probably say that the S21 is going to get One UI 6 and then maybe One UI 7, who knows if you know, Samsung changes some things. But this phone is still going to be here for a few years. But the S23 is definitely going to be the one that outlasts the S21. I mean, this phone is just getting started with software updates. This thing just came out. So because of that, you are going to be getting a longer lasting phone from something like the S23 than the S21. It's just one of those things to keep in mind. It makes sense. As you get the newer phone, you get the newer features. So not a big deal, but one of those things to keep in mind. Now let's go and do a speed comparison between both these phones. The Galaxy S23 has that Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chipset inside with 8 gigabytes of RAM where the S21 has that Snapdragon 888 chipset inside with 8GB of RAM as well. So let's go and see which one's the fastest one between both. Okay, there we go. Let me go and focus in a little bit. And all the apps are cleared out in the background except for my S23. So let's get into it. S21 here, S23 here. Let's do phone calls. 3, 2, 1. Okay, almost identical. Camera, 3, 2, 1. Okay, almost about the same thing. Let's go and take a photo. Both are on night mode. And I think the S22 is definitely faster right there. S23, let's go and open up the camera. I don't know why I keep calling this S22. Okay, let's go and hop out of this one. Let's go open up their Galaxy Store, three, two, one. Okay, S23 is faster, but they were on two different panels. Play Store, three, two, one. Okay, S23 is faster, but the they're, like, one of the things I'm seeing is that the S23 is probably gonna be the faster one, but the S21 is right behind it. 
In terms of the display scrolling, there's not really a crazy big difference. They're both very smooth. I think the S23 seems a little bit smooth. The S21 seems like it's kind of like glitching a little bit, which is kind of weird considering they're both 120 hertz panels. So I have some of these third party apps we can open up as well. Let's do Snapchat. Three, two, one. Okay, about the same thing. Let's do Snake First Blocks. Three, two, one. Okay, S23 was the faster one here. Gameplay wise, let's see if there's a big difference, which I don't think there's going to be. Let's go and hop out of this one. Let's go and get into Stack 321. And they're both on One UI 5 as well. So they're you know both up to date on the most recent version of the software that's available. Again, S23 is faster. Tumble Run 2, 3, 2, 1. Okay, of course we get a pop up here. Of course, it's never going to work for the first time. I should have expected that. So we're just going to go and hop out of these two. Okay, let's just go and get into the game. Three, two, one. I think they're probably going to be around the same thing. Okay, let's go and hop out of this one. Let's go and do... I do have Genshin Impact. We can try loading that game up. Three, two, one. So even in a game like this, I'm going to tell you the S23 is going to be faster. It's going to be better. But I still think the Galaxy S21 is still a fairly fast phone. I would say that even though the S23 is the latest one, it is more expensive. So I'm expecting this one to be better. But you can see every time, like, the S21 isn't that far behind. Like, it's behind, but it's not like a crazy big difference. So when it comes down to it, I still think the S21 is still plenty of a fast phone. But the S23 is clearly the faster one, at least from the basic apps that I opened. In terms of the camera setups, though, this is also, I think, another kind of similar area between these two phones. As I mentioned for a long time now, Samsung makes some of the best cameras. So you're getting triple camera setups on the back of both these wide ultra wide telephoto lenses. You're getting 8K capability on both these phones. You're getting 4K at 60 on the front. But as I mentioned before, you are getting a little bit of an upgrade on the S23, basically in all the performance. You are getting a little bit higher frames per second you can film 8K on on the S23. Now, on the S21, I personally like this phone, you know, I, th I, thought it, I thought it was a good camera, I just didn't like the build of this phone to be honest, but the camera itself was actually pretty good, you know, you still have 0.5x zoom, and you have 30x zoom that you can zoom into, that's always been something that's very been very interesting to me, especially with phones that do have telephoto lenses, they don't even go up to 30x zoom for non-Samsung phones, a lot of them, you know, specifically talking about iPhones. If you look at the camera here, I mean, you still get video mode, you still have a lot of options under more. So you still have all of these other crazy cool options that you have under this specific option that we don't have on a lot of other phones. Now, because this is also a Samsung phone on the S23, you are going to be getting basically those same exact features on this phone, which is great. You know, I love having those types of features. So with this type of phone, I mean, in my opinion, you're getting awesome capability. So for one, you're still getting that point, which is interesting, you're getting 0.6x zoom here, whereas on the S21, it was 0.5x. Don't really know what that's about. But you still get 30x zoom here, which is great. So luckily they didn't mess with that. And I think that in and of itself is really cool. You still have lots of capability like standard video mode, portrait video here that I added. And you have a lot of other options here too, which is really cool. So that is something that I've kind of looked at personally for me. That's something you should probably consider kind of to adding some of these camera features down here. But between the S21 and S23, the S23's camera is probably better. But it's not like you're going to switch from one to the other just because, you know, it's a better camera. So... In terms of that, that kind of covers it up there. And to sum up the video, what I'll definitely tell you is, I think the S23 is the better phone pretty much in every single area. You're getting a better, I wouldn't say better display, but you're getting a better build quality, better camera, better performance, better battery life. This is going to be the better phone overall, a longer lasting phone as well. But I think the S21 is still good for the price as of now. You know, it's not the most expensive phone. You can probably buy this thing for like less than $300, maybe give or take around there. It's still a very fast phone for gaming and Great camera, good battery life for the most part. Not too much to complain about, but the S23 is clearly the better phone in my opinion. So that kind of covers it out there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.